Hello, my name is Liam Keynes. My fellow dancers and I are all very anxious to start working on the choreography for Moulin Rouge. However, there's still a couple of weeks left before we start. So in the meantime, we're going to go behind the scenes yet again and talk to freelance makeup artist and wig maker, Sharon Ryman. Let's go take a look. Hair, whether it's on top of the head or on the face, is a key component to finishing off the look needed to create a character. And Moulin Rouge has some very specific period styles. Um, I've been making wigs for about 27 years. I've worked at numerous places. I also am a makeup artist, so both of those things go hand in hand. Um, but I do freelance work as well as my full-time work at the Canadian Opera Company. Today, Sharon is starting from scratch, making a wig for dancer Joanne Sundermeyer. Do you mind if I ask what this uh, step is for? I'm making a pattern of her head, uh, so it will be an exact outline of her hairline. From that, I'll take this plastic, part, this little cap that I'm making, and put it on a, a wooden block that I use to make the wig. Okay. And that'll be the exact same size as her head, and then I'll make the wig exactly. If it doesn't quite fit on the block, I'll pat it so we have the, the hair all uh, even, just like it is on her head. Joe, have you ever had this done before? No. <laughs> I've had wigs on, but never one created for me. Mm. You must feel honored. <laughs> We won't see the final product for a while, but I'm sure Sharon's work will be amazing. The women of Moulin Rouge aren't the only ones who will be sporting some of Sharon's handiwork. The men of that period had elaborate mustaches, beards, and goatees. It's amazing how a little bit of facial hair can help a dancer get into character. Maybe my next year I can actually grow facial hair like this. <laughs> 